Right, so Tory Poland has not been going well for Cav. He looked absolutely unbelievable in the British National Champs, but it hasn't worked out for him. Now, this is the last three kilometers of the Tour of Poland. So here's my mouse. Um, just, yeah, actually, we can't change it on Google Drive. Sorry. Anyway, uh, ignore this. So what we're going to see is that with 3K to go, it's pretty wide roads. There's a left-hand corner, right-hand corner where it actually narrows quite a lot. Then back onto a motorway, right-hand corner under one kilometer to go, sort of a not too steep corner. And then a really, really important right-hand corner with about 400 meters. No, not even. There's like 200 meters to go. So basically, it's really important to be in good position at this two kilometers to go part, the one kilometer to go part with the right hander. But the most important thing, and you've got to do everything, is you've got to be top two wheels into this corner. So we're going to go through what happens with kicks, quick step and show that it's not really Cav's fault, it's just the lead out. So anyway, 3.3k to go, wide road. Now with Cav, he's, um, it's hard to spot him uh, also because the footage is so grainy, but unfortunately, no one seems to make the, do the footage. But anyway, he's in the National Champs jersey, so I'm pretty sure he's here. There's a couple quick step guys here. It's not great. It's not terrible. But the position is sort of okay just because it's so far so far to go. So we then go to 2.5k, and, and this is Cav here. You can see this quick step guy here. Like, where is his team? Is some of his teams behind, some of his teams forward. And you might say, okay, Charlie, it's 2.5k to go. It's not too, not too important to be too far forward. But this is what I'm talking about. With 2k to go, as I mentioned previously, there's this sudden chicane um and it narrows a lot and Bahrain are on the front and you can also see Jumbo Visma are a little bit further forward as well um so if we look with 1.1k to go so it was sort of like a main road 1.1k to go now where is Cav so half his lead outs here which is actually where he is behind there the other half is here Jumbo Visma okay not great all sort of disorganized along the road but realistically for Cav he should have his train organized with 1k to go um and then i think they could he could have a better chance so anyway with 900 meters to go you can see there's a left hand this is the right hand corner i was uh, talking about um like which is quite far to go bahrain on the front for bauhaus then you can see yumbo yumbo visma for koi and then cav is just like in this mess here but it's quite far back and so it's not looking good for the boy we then go with 200 meters to go you can see kai first wheel then we have I don't know why this footage is so bad. Anyway, then we have Mate Mahor. Uh, sorry, not Mate Mahor. What am I about? Bauhaus. And then everyone else is basically behind. We then zoom forward again. And you can see Cavs like sixth wheel here. It's 250 meters to go. Like, cheerio. Thanks for coming. It's game over. Like, you're just not making up this ground. And this, the issue was, was here. He's just not organized enough. Like, he's just too far back. And his team needed to basically, between 900 and 200 meters ago, we need to make sure he's at the front, but it's, quite, it's you can see it narrows a little bit, it's hard to really come by. Um, you can see Yumbo Visma had three riders here, one guy does 900 meters to like 600 meters to, sorry. Yeah, it's hard to move up. Um, so anyway, that was the first the first stage, and um, now we'll go on to the second stage. All right, so this is stage two. Now, it's not too technical a run, and so I haven't shown what happens in the last 3K, it's basically straight with a couple roundabouts. This is five and a half K to go. You can see quick step on the front here. Cavs like looking like fifth wheel, not bad position. Come out the roundabout, Cavs lost his lead out. But to be honest, with 4.7K to go, slightly irrelevant. There's a lotto man up the road, but you know, 15 seconds, 4.7K to go. He's getting caught no matter what. Again, you can see De Koenig coming up on the left-hand side um, and quick step really on the right. Uh, like De Koenig, Alperson or whatever they're called now. Um, or Alperson, De Koenig. Looking pretty good on the left-hand side. Cav is, like, back here in the cheap seats, but no stress. 3.3k to go. We zoom forward. Again, Cav is, like, back here. No stress, no stress. But his teammates are up front. I think that's the main thing. It's, like, Cav's not in bad position, obviously. But the teammates are not round him, which I think is going to spell trouble later. 1.9k to go. So getting a bit more serious time to get in position. And you can see Cav's just on the wheel of his teammates here, which is good. So you can see there's sort of a brawl up here. Not too much space to move up, but you know that with roundabouts coming up and everything else, there'll be there'll be time to move up. No no issues. So 1.2k to go. Cavs just on his lead out here. Now this is a pretty good position. These guys, they're gonna run out of men. Um, realistically, unless they can hop on another lead out train, there just won't be enough time. So anyway, with 1.1 kilometers to go, Cav again in very good position here. On his lead out train, three guys. None of them have hit the wind yet. 1.1k to go. It's looking good. Um, coming around this roundabout. Cav is then about here, which is, again, very good position on one of his lead-out straight. Now, this one point ruins his sprint. We're going to see, again, 600 metres, Cav is here. 500 metres, Cav is now in perfect position. Cav is in perfect position. You look where he is. This is the winner, Heiber Gosens, or whatever his name is. Um, no, it wasn't that, was it? Anyway, 
I think it was Gerson's who won. Anyway, he's in perfect position. He wins the sprint. Cavs here. He should win the sprint if he or like you know compete. One thing happens around this roundabout. So if you look, Cav is here. That lead out man's just swung off. So this guy has just swung off and has gone on the outside. Cav is stuck. He can't go on the inside and he loses all his momentum and all his position because it narrows into this roundabout. Now, recently, if Cav had been had got his lead out man, you see this Astana man. If, if he was like there and his lead out man was there, we're going to see then like Cav would have been on his lead out man's wheel here, but he doesn't follow his lead out man. His lead out man is here and Cav's back here and that loses in it. That is literally as simple as that. Like he doesn't follow his lead out man properly. Um, and yeah, he gets squeezed here. So when, when he comes out, he's here. Um, sorry. Yeah, he's there. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Cav is here. His lead out man's there. So that's, that's the position. And if we look at the overhead, Cav's here, his lead out's there. And that's, there's a, there's the Bahrain man sits up and Cav's just got no chance. He's just not coming across that. His lead out's there. He would have won. So, in conclusion, two very unlucky sprints, in my opinion, uh, especially this one. Like, this one was just, like, one lapse of judgment, really, really messed him over. The first one was more, like, an issue for the lead-out. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video, and I'll see you in the next one.